Welcome back to this Lenten devotional series based on Mark's Gospel. For day 14, we'll read Mark 10, 23 to 27. And Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How difficult it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were amazed at his words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how difficult it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. And they were exceedingly astonished and said to him, Then who can be saved? And Jesus looked at them and said, With man it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible with God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Most of us are so familiar with the rich young ruler story that it's hard for us to grasp just how shocked the disciples were. Watching the young man walk away left them slack-jawed. They thought that wealth was a sure sign of God's blessing. So why didn't Jesus go after such a promising recruit? Wouldn't his prestige and his pocketbook boost their little band of disciples and maybe even the kingdom? Jesus saw their faces and knew they needed some coaching. But instead of walking back his blunt words with the young man, he took the message even farther. He said, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for the rich to enter the kingdom. And this wasn't the only time Jesus spoke like this. Once he said, the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life, and few are those who find it. And another time he said, unless you deny yourself and take up your cross, you cannot follow me. Whenever he taught, he was very blunt about the high cost of discipleship. And he had a way of tailoring the high cost to particular people. That's what he did with the rich young man. So what you have, give it all to the poor and come follow me. He didn't require that of everyone, but Jesus knew that for this young man, the way he held his riches or maybe more to the point how his riches held him, that that would require a costly response that addressed this area of his life. For others, Jesus directed the costly response toward their sexual attachments or toward their pursuit of power, any area of life that could rival the total loyalty necessary to follow him. So the particulars varied, but the cost did not. It always felt beyond what anyone could possibly do. That's how the disciples felt too. And that's how we often feel, that we just can't do all that he calls us to do. But we need not turn and walk away. Instead, we can draw all the closer to the one Jesus described, the one who is more than able to do all things, even squeeze our particular camel's hump through a needle's eye. Here are a couple of questions to ponder as you look back over these verses. During previous seasons of your walk with Jesus, what did you have to leave behind? How did that work out? What do you sense that the Lord is asking you to set aside this year so that you might pursue him headlong? God bless you.